Hey, welcome back. Today is May 10th, Monday. Before anything else, I want to give a heads up that I will be taking some time off the next few days, and I should be back next week at the latest. So thank you for your audience, and I'll see you guys next week when I'm back after this post. On this post, in addition, please do be aware of any fake profiles down in the YouTube comment section below, especially the ones asking you guys to contact some random numbers or individuals and pretending to be my name and profile picture. I will not ask you guys to contact any random numbers or individuals, so if you see a fake profile like that, it's better if you guys just report it. Now on this post, I'll be telling you about the overall crypto markets, which includes Bitcoin dominance and Bitcoin price action, and see how they could potentially affect the overall altcoin markets. Before diving into basic attention token and BPRO token and see what has gone on in these markets. I'll be telling you about the bullish and bearish case scenarios for today, as well as the short-term price prediction on these markets according to what I'm seeing on the charts. Before I begin today, if you guys are enjoying this content, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video, as I'll be keeping updated on the latest crypto setups on my watch list. If you want to support me and don't already have a Weibo brokerage account, you guys can use my referral link down below. They're still giving away two free stocks after you sign up for an account and deposit 100 US dollars, and I will also get a referral bonus if you guys sign up under me. Please do also read my full disclaimer below. I am not a financial advisor, and this is not financial advice. I am purely sharing my own speculations and opinions on these markets. I cannot tell you the future, and you should always do your own due diligence before trading or investing in these markets as it's extremely risky and volatile. If you have any questions or comments, please do only leave them in the comment section below, but I will try my best to get to as many of them as possible. See what's going on in these markets first. Most importantly, I do take a look into Bitcoin dominance. It tells me where the money could be turning into, would it be Bitcoin, altcoins, or neither. Right now, we do have Bitcoin dominance down very slightly, about 0.1%. This breaks down to Bitcoin price action down about five, uh, over 5.1%. Total altcoin market cap down almost as much as Bitcoin. Now, this would still be the downside of Bitcoin dominance trending downwards, even though both of them are losing as much value today. Okay, And very slight change in Bitcoin dominance, very little movement in Bitcoin dominance today. Okay. However, I still do emphasize Bitcoin dominance to trend downwards because that's better for the altcoins on both the upside and downside. Because conversely speaking, if Bitcoin dominance was trending upwards, the downside of that, I will usually see total altcoin market cap pulling back by more than that of Bitcoins. On the monthly time frame here for Bitcoin dominance, we have seen quite a bit of a steep downtrend. Okay. The key support here, as I've been mentioning, would be about that 45% FIB level area, which is pretty in line with the measure target of this double top pattern on the monthly time frame, as I've pointed out yesterday. The measure target will give me about 43.5% in that area, which in my opinion is within that 45% FIB level area here. If Bitcoin dominance continues downwards, that's more ideal for the altcoins. Let's go over to Bitcoin. On the monthly time frame here, we have retreated to an RSI reading of about 85 from 92 almost. So if the price action was to make a higher high here on this monthly time frame, it does need to beat the last high RSI reading of about 92 to negate bearish divergence. Not a time frame I'll lose track of, and this would be a time frame I'll especially monitor more closely now because do take a look into the last few times Bitcoin has gone into very overbought territory here. And one data point of pulling back on here is one month's worth of time. Let's zoom in and see what could be going on here on the daily time frame for Bitcoin. We have breached that daily 50 MA. We have about four more hours though until this daily candle close. So let's see if we can still actually close back on top of the daily 50 MA, which is the white line here. If not, the next key support will be the daily 21 MA. Next one down will be the three day 21 MA. Which we are also right at as well. So daily 50, daily 21 and the three day 21. Let me do a correction there, are very close uh, within a range. 
if the price action actually closes below these key supports here, the next key support I'll be looking at will be the weekly 21 MA. That's still pretty far down about the 48K uh, level. That will be the next key support and it's a major moving average um, and seeing if that holds. If Bitcoin pulls back at any time, it could still have a bearish effect on the altcoins. That bearish effect will be greater if Bitcoin dominance is trending higher. Let's go over to uh, basic attention token. Monthly time frame here, we're currently about 80. So in overbought territory. On the daily time frame, I could point out an ascending triangle pattern here. Top trend line, a dollar and seventy cents. Now, ascending triangle patterns, according to Thomas Bukowski and his website, thepatternside.com, it is a sixty-three percent chance of it breaking to the upside. If it breaks to the upside, the measure target, which is taken by measuring the opening of the pattern, let me straighten this up. There you go. All right, that's as closely as I can have it to the bottom of the pattern here. Adding it back on top of the top trend line here will give me a measured target of right underneath $2.50 measure target right underneath it. Let's take a look into some of the key supports and resistances relevant to this price action right now. Key resistance immediately would be about the $1.40 fit level area. I could expect some resistance coming back up to the $1.70 top trend line here from past trading uh, history. So next up would be a $1.70, but before that, some uh, resistance from past trading history as well. Beyond that, I could expect some resistance coming from round numbers. And the 1.618 fit level area. Which would be about $2.20. Okay, so I can expect some resistance coming from round numbers uh, above the pattern. So for example, $2.1618. And about two dollars and fifty cents, which is pretty in line with the measure target there. Those are some of the psychological resistances I can expect traders are likely to take profits and sell pressure is likely to come in. Key support immediately, daily twenty one, daily fifty are very close within a uh, or pretty in line with each other. Daily twenty one and daily fifty, the blue and white line. Next one down. The three day 21 MA, currently about $1.23. Next one down, a dollar and twenty about the dollar and twenty cents fit level area. Next one down would be about the one dollar fit level area. The weekly 21 MA is still lagging quite far behind. Currently at about 78 cents. Let's take a look into the bullish and bearish case snails here. Bullish case snail price action breaks out of this ascending triangle pattern and go towards its measure target, mining some of those key resistances and psychological resistance levels I has I have just pointed out as those could be points of rejection. Now let me mention this: measure targets are theoretical approximate targets only, may actually be different in real life price action, more or less. That's the bullish case snail. Bearish case snail price action breaks its bottom trend line. It looks like I could stretch this out um, a little further to fit an ascending triangle pattern, but it depends on which of these key support levels actually hold. So I'm referring to some of these fit levels as I have just pointed out and seeing if the price action will hold at one of these key support levels and bounce and keep this ascending triangle pattern shape intact. Let's go over to BPRO. Monthly time frame, we're currently about an RSI reading of about 59 here. So not in overbought territory. If 
daily time frame. I can point out a fallen watch pattern. According to Thomas Bukowski and his website, thepatternsite.com, falling watch patterns are a 68% chance of it breaking to the upside. If it breaks to the upside, I am going to be discounting this long wick above the pattern here and measuring the measure targets. And if it breaks to the upside, taking into consideration that this FIB level area at about 1.1 cents will hold up the price action, for example, then the measure target would be approximately 3 cents measure targets. Now measure targets, again, are theoretical approximate targets only, may actually be different in real life price action more or less. Let's take a look into some of the key supports and resistances relevant to this price action right now. Key resistance immediately, daily 21 MA, the blue line here. And then the daily 50 MA, the white line. Which is pretty uh, similar to the, uh, to the price level where the 3 day 21 MA is right now, the blue line here. Followed by immediately about the 1.7 cents fit level area. Next one up would be about that two cents fit level area. Next one up would be about, I would say, 2.5 cents fit level area just to be even here. About 2.5 cents fit level area just to be even. Next one up, I could expect resistance coming from about the three cents fit level area. And I can, pa I can refer to past trading history here, going from about 3.2 cents to as far up as about 3 point, almost 3.9 cents there for resistance. And of course, coming from one more resistance coming from this wick right here, about 4.8 cents. Let's take a look into uh, the key supports. First key support would be about the 1.1 cents FIB level area. Next one down would be the weekly 21 MA, which would be a major moving average. This blue line here currently about 0.88 cents about there. Let's take a look into the bullish and bearish case snails here. Bullish case scenario, price action breaks out of this falling wedge pattern and go towards this measure target. Mining some of those resistance levels I have just pointed out as those could be points of rejection going back up. Bearish case scenario, price action breaks the support here at about the 1.1 cents, which would drop the price action further down within this falling wedge pattern. The next key support I'll be looking at will be the weekly 21 MA, currently about 8.87 cents here. I also forgot to mention the 3 day 50 MA, which is at about 0.825 cents here. Okay. And seeing if any of those key supports will hold up the price action. Now, these are my bullish and bearish case notes for today. Let me know if you found it helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Let me know your agreements, disagreements, feedback. I love to hear them. Hope you match your risk carefully. And if you'd like to see any more of my most recently uploaded videos on YouTube, you guys can check out my links up here on YouTube. See you next time.